During a project, we sometimes use a block with attributes. Aris Commander 2015 allows us to edit these blocks without losing the content. Here, for example, there is a block with attributes. We can select the block and reposition the attributes. And we even have a grip that will allow us to reposition the block. We can also change the content of a block with attributes. Simply double-click it. The attribute values appear, with which we can make the changes we need. For example, the text that represents the date of the drawing. It could, however, happen that we need to change the entities belonging to the block and not necessarily to the attribute. For example, if we wanted to make this part of the label have a lesser width. If we intend to use a command like stretch, we only move the entire block. That way we cannot reduce the width of the entities. But if we use explode, the block resolves to a lower level. Sure, the attributes lose the assigned values, but in this case the entities are independent. If we now use the stretch command to reduce this width, what happens? We have to recreate the block, insert and rewrite all the data the label had. Since the values of the attribute, in this case several attributes, have been lost. Let's go back. Aris Commander 2015 offers a solution to change the shape of the block without altering the content of the attributes. For this we have the new tool Explode Block X. Select the block. The decomposition happens, but the attributes are converted into text, which allows us to modify what once belonged to the block. Without losing data belonging to the attributes, since now the attributes have become text. Thanks for listening, and don't miss our free trial of Aris Commander 2015 on our website graber.com.